back to Law and Crime. We're going to, well, I'm going to say pivot. I'm not sure it's a full pivot. It is a new case that will begin next week, but it's in, guess where? It's in Georgia. Uh, this is a case about a woman accused of fatally shooting a man during a traffic dispute. The defendant, Hannah Payne, 24 years old, she's charged with felony murder, malice murder, aggravated assault, some other charges thrown in there, for her role in the death of 62-year-old Kenneth Herring. He was fatally shot by her, as the prosecutors, uh, in the abdomen. Investigators say in, in May of 2019, Herring's driving along in his pickup truck. He blows a red light. He hits an 18-wheeler. Now, Payne was one of the witnesses to the accident. She thinks he's drunk. She follows him. 911 is saying, ma'am, don't follow this guy. She follows him, gets into a struggle with him where Payne says that the uh, decedent grabbed her by the shirt and attempted to attack her. She pulls out a pistol from her vehicle. The weapon discharges in the midst of this struggle. Prosecutors say that Payne was caught on video hitting Herring uh, while holding her gun. So she's looking at the possibility of life in prison if convicted. Got a couple of 911 calls here for you to frame this case. This uh, is from the day the accident occurred, one from a bystander. That's the first one we'll hear, and then one from the defendant herself. Here we go. County 911, what is the location of your emergency? Uh, Clark Howell and Forest Parkway. Is it, we had a call earlier, and it's been over like 20 minutes now. And uh, no police or no ambulance have shown up at this location. And like I said, it's a ball, a red Dakota, and a semi tractor truck. And none has showed up at this moment in time. Okay, I just get a call. We already have someone on the way. The reason why I'm asking them because this, this, the driver who caused the accident, is, I think he's uncared. Uh, something's going on with him. And so the thing about it, we're trying to tell him to uh, turn his vehicle off and smoke him, and he's not following the command. So that's why I'm asking to see what it's done. And, and he's moving his vehicle. He's going to drive off, man. He's driving off. He's driving off. Take a picture of the driving light. Take a picture. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. He's driving off. He's driving off. Where's he going, Kurt? He's, he's heading for, he's heading for um, Riverdale Road. Up a river there road. That's what he said. What kind of vehicle he is it? For, is that he's the in the red Dakota? Red Dakota. Get out of the road, sir. Get out of the road. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What's the tag number? Red Dakota, front end damage to the red Dakota. Did you get a picture of the driver light? The tag. Oh man. Let's get out of the road. Get out of the road. He's heading for he's heading for the um, Riverdale Road. Heading for two eighty five area. Riverdale Road. He's heading um west. Heading west on um, Forest Parkway towards the area. Give me one okay, minute. good. Now, the other driver who was in, and she's going to um, take a picture of the vehicle. Yeah, he's fledging. He's, a, he's an African American. Um, two vehicles. His vehicle and the, tr and the truck. The truck is still here. The driver of the truck is still here. And so, sir, step out the road. Just step out the road, please. Um, so, he's in a red Dakota. It's a, a, a 96 model, give or take 97 model. He has a, he's an older black gentleman, gray hair, blue shirt on. And front end damage, heavily front end damage in front. Heavily front end. I knew he was going to do something. If I was in uniform, I would have picked a T, but I didn't. So. <laughs> okay. So he went. He's heading towards that area. If we can get a um, police alert that way, I know the traffic, I knew there's an incident up that way. Hopefully, there's another uh, officer on that uh, okay. see him. Give me one moment. I know it's R H A R H A five nine three three. There it was. R H A five nine three three. R H A five nine three three. I got it. Robert Henry Adams five nine three three. Yes. It's okay. She got it. She got it. It's all there. Yeah. I'm hoping that the lady, um, the lady in the jeep was almost in the incident, so she turned around and she went after him. So she's going to take a picture of his vehicle and stuff. Can't you believe it? I knew he was something wrong with it, yeah. I knew it. Uh, this is crazy. Yeah. Well, he's not going to get far. This truck, this truck is going to overheat. This truck is going to overheat. Okay, ma'am, you have my number. 
if anything, y'all can hit me back. But um, I'm here with the, the driver okay. of the truck, uh, the semi-truck and everything. So my number, you have it. Okay. Thank All you, right. ma'am. Thank you. All right. Clayton County 911, what is the location of your emergency? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm actually on Forest Parkway and Clark Howell Highway. Um, and there was just an accident. I'm sure they've already called, um, but I was just, I just witnessed it, and I just wanted to make sure that I, I guess, called the police as well in case they didn't. Um, All right. Were they, um, what were the kind of vehicles involved? Um, it's a red Dodge pickup truck. I think it's a Dakota. And a semi was involved. And the red Dakota uh, ran the red light and slammed into the side of the semi. It doesn't look like we received any reports on it yet. Okay. I'll go ahead and yeah, put in a call here. Okay. Red Dakota. And um, were they on Forest Parkway or on Clark Howell? Um, the semi and I were turning left onto Forest Parkway. And the Dakota was going west on, just on Forest Parkway. Okay. And what's your name? My name is Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H. Last name is Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. And what's your callback number? 470-512-1847. Uh, we appreciate you calling this in. We'll get someone out there and try to assist them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, little did the 911 operator know at the time she's talking to Hannah Payne, who has not yet encountered the driver, Kenneth Herring. Uh, this is going to get ugly fast. Uh, Kenneth, uh, um, for not Rutgers here, Brian Buckmeyer. Uh, so you guys, when, when, I, when I look at this case, um, you know, it's like Good Samaritan gone wrong, horribly wrong. Uh, Brian, we're, we're going to hear, I believe, that there's some evidence that the, the driver of the the uh, red truck that fled the scene was acting odd and weird, but they found no substances in his, uh, in his blood. Um, but it gave her some reason to think she needed to follow this guy. Uh, not generally a good idea. Yeah, not generally a good idea. And I don't know, I recall this case called the Ahmaud Arbery case in Georgia, where the Citizens Arrest Act was repealed because of this which as a defense attorney representing Hannah Payne would be like, did you not watch the national news on this case where we said by law, we shouldn't be taking justice into our own hands because things like this could happen. Uh, it would be very hard for her to claim ignorance based on that. Uh, I think the facts are similar enough yet different enough to make some arguments on either side. Uh, but this is going to be very dangerous, especially because, to my understanding, the defense is making the argument similar to the uh, the men in the Ahmaud Arbery trial uh, to say, I think the McMichaels, sorry, uh, to say that this was a citizen arrest gone wrong. But I think even under the old law, if I recall, you were allowed to effectuate a citizen's arrest if you saw a felony in your presence. I don't think even this hit and run where there are no injuries to anyone rises to the level of felony. So even based on the old law, I would think that this would fail. Yeah, and under the old law, which was in app, uh, it was applying at the time because this was 2019. Uh, the question to me really becomes, you know, what did she do once she came upon the car and it, and they they were stopped? You know, just following him and getting the license plate. You know, I I, I can give her credit for that. Whatever happened after that uh, seems to be what led to the problem, and we just don't know yet. Let's take.